Hello, it's Jeanette with Geo Amazing Paper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am back with another video tutorial, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be making this cute little note card that is also a Get Well card, Get Well Wishes. And I'm going to be using some uh, designer series paper from the Tropical Oasis. <laughs> I had to take a look at it because I, I keep forgetting. Tropical Oasis designer series paper. And, and um, I'm going to be using that because it's going to be retiring uh, on June 3rd. So you want to get your hands on it. Such beautiful paper. But I'm going to show you how I put together this little mask get well card. Isn't that cute with the googly eyes? So if you'd like to learn how to make this card, just keep on watching. So the base of the card is one of our Whisper White note card and envelopes. Um, I, this is where I got the base from. And I'm going to use one of each. You get 20 in a pack. And I'm just going to fold this because you see we have a, a score line already down the middle. And let me just score this and we will use our bone folder to crease that. And we'll put this aside. We'll decorate our envelope later too. Okay, I'm going to work on the mask first. So I'm going to take a piece of uh, this tropical Oasis. <laughs> I had to make sure I had the, the name right. Tropical Oasis Designer Series Paper, which will be retiring on June 3rd. And I'm going to be using my tailored tag punch. And we're just going to punch that right about there. Try to get a nice little design going here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my little mini trimmer. My little mini guillotine trimmer. Uh, this is something that you could earn from uh, uh, joining during celebrations. Okay, now I just want to, I want to measure this first. Let's see. Uh, because what I need is little eighth inch strips. Okay, so I'm going to start at the th this mark here. And then uh, that's a little bit too wide for me. So let me go in one eighth inch increments. And I'm going to just do a few, maybe three. So I'm basically counting backwards so that I could have one eighth inch increments here. And hopefully they're even. Maybe I'll do one more just in case I don't have one even. We'll go right here. Okay. Isn't this a cute little trimmer? I hope Stampin' Up! brings it back. Okay, let me bring out my silicone craft sheet. All right. Bringing out the craft sheet. Mine's a little bit bunged up, but that's okay. We're still going to use it. All right. Now, what I need to do is I need to put some snail adhesive on this strip here. And it's okay if I got adhesive on the front side. You see how I got adhesive all on the front side? Because I'm going to lay this back down and I'm just going to take my thumb and rub off the excess. Just like that. I still have adhesive on the back side. I still have my adhesive on the back side. So, then I'm going to lay this down just like that. I'm going to overlap just a little bit because I'll be trimming. Let me get out my paper snips. And we're going to trim. I should trim from the back, right? So I can see what I'm doing. Trimming there. And we're trimming there. Okay, let's put some more adhesive on this. Just needed it on this side here. Rub the excess off. And we'll place this right here, right on the edge. And then we'll do some trimming. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now let's do the sides here. I'm going to take another little strip and just put some adhesive halfway down. All right, pick it up. Use my adhesive eraser. 
And I think I'll erase the rest of this from this pad. See how that picks up just like that? And then you just, you got your little goobers there. <laughs> and I'm just going to toss them in my little waste basket there. Okay, so now I just need to do the sides. Just like that. And cutting that off. See how this is sticking to my... Um, what I use to clean my scissors is just a little alcohol pad. You can get all the gummy, um, gluey, gooey stuff off with your um, with some alcohol pads or just a cotton ball with some alcohol on there. That's how I do my, my scissors. Okay, so now that I've got the mask done, all right, I'm going to go ahead and, and do the little loops here. And for that, I'm going to be using some of this Nature's Twine. This, is, this one, I believe, is in Pool Party, which is one of the colors that is in here. I don't have any uh, green or, or yellow or so saffron uh, Baker's Twine, but I do have this. So I'm going to cut off two pieces that measure two and a half inches because that is just about what I need for for this little mask. Okay, now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put some mini glue dots. But let me grab my take your pick tool and I will take glue dots and put them right on this corner, this corner, that corner, and that corner. I can place my strings, one on this side, and we'll loop it over, and one on that side, okay? And the same on this end, one on this side here. Let the glue take hold, okay? And then I'm gonna prepare it, because I will be popping this up on my card. I'm gonna just go ahead and prepare my little uh, dimensionals, and I'm just using the edges of the dimensionals just this little edge right here and I'm going to just place this down here and we will get it ready for when we place it down on our card which is probably going to be one of the last things we do okay let's prepare our little heart for the face now for that I'm going to be using a piece of so saffron cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and punch out the heart this is the number one heart punch. I'll cut that out like this. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and punch out the number two heart with this green. Now this piece measures uh, three and three eighths by four and seven eighths. Okay. This is going to be one of the, uh, this is what's going to go behind my main, my main designer series paper. I'll be stamping on this but for right now I'm just going to go ahead and punch out the heart because you're not even going to know that I punched it out of here because we're going to be covering it up with that designer series paper like that okay and so we're going to layer this on here let's put some liquid adhesive on here and we're just going to layer it on here the best we can all right there we go and now we're going to put this aside now we're going to do our googly eyes too and for the googly eyes i think i'm going to go ahead and use a uh half inch punch and let, let me just punch two one and two of our half inch punch because what i'm going to do is I'm going to be putting our little googly eyes on here. Now, I have these googly eyes here. Uh, these have little eyelashes on them, but you can just use regular ones too. And uh, these have adhesive on them. And I am going to try to peel this off. I think I have a little extra, oop, a little extra paper here. And I'm going to trim off. And I'm going to take my take your pick tool because I just want a very small hint of the green showing just to give it a little contrast when I put this on here. Do you see there's just a little bit of a contrast? You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just noticed that it just make a, a little bit of a difference in, in contrast with that 
yellow paper with that so saffron paper okay so just right there on the edge and you don't have to be so perfect now I'll be gluing these on with liquid glue later so we're gonna put that aside now okay so we've got our mask done now let's work on stamping our our designer series paper I'm gonna bring up my stamparatus and I have a corner stamp uh, that is from the I say hello stamp set that's this one right here. I say hello. We're going to use this corner on all four corners, which I thought it was a really pretty floral design. And I'm using my Stamparatus, and it's got the pad on here because this is a photopolymer stamp, and I already have it positioned here. We're going to be using Old Olive for our ink. Okay, and that should just be a nice contrast with this So Saffron designer series paper let me put a magnet there so it doesn't shift around okay here we go there's one we're going to move this aside this makes such a beautiful edge on here and it kind of fills in gaps you know when you have a little bit of a gap on the the corners of your cards just put a corner stamp on it I love this stamp set just for that, just for the corners. There we go. All right, now I've got that. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Okay, let's put this away for now. <clears throat> and now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and layer this on here. Just like that. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. Just all along the edge here. Should have my silicone craft sheet out. Let's do that so we don't get glue all over everything. There's nothing worse than glue on your grid paper. Everything wants to stick to it. Okay, so we've got that nice layer here. And this layer is going to be going on this card but before I do that what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring back my Stamparatus and on the inside of this envelope which I'm going to be turning um, inside out I'm going to go ahead and stamp the corners so we'll have a little design on the inside too let me bring back this old olive ink And now I'm going to stamp a sentiment on the inside here. Okay, and that sentiment says, um, since this is going to be a get well card, uh, sending healing thoughts your way, and I'm going to just go ahead and stamp that right in the center the best I can. Let's try to get it right in the center. Hopefully I don't mess this up. And this sentiment is from the well said the well said stamp set it's a two box stamp set look at how many sentiments you get and they go with the dies that um is called a, ooh, i'll get the dies here in a second here oh here here they are the dies are called well written and you get so many dies here and what i'm going to be using is the get well wishes i'm just going to be using the the word wishes here but i'm going to also stamp get well on here so let me just go ahead and and place my my little heart where i'm going to put the heart right here okay we'll put it kind of up toward the top and the mask is going to go right here about right there and so I also want to stamp get well and we're going to do that in old olive so let's see where we're going to be putting our get well because we're going to put wishes on the bottom there <clears throat> okay so let's just try to be very neat about stamping this get well and right in the center that's not too bad okay so let's die cut our wishes all right let's do that i'm going to put this aside here and i have some old olive and i have the wishes 
uh, I have the Wishes die from that well-written die set. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some snail adhesive and I'm just going to put a few rows right here. And then I'm going to take some uh, a wax paper. This actually comes from the back of the labels when you have cling stamps. Now there's like a dull side and there's a real smooth shiny side. You want that smooth shiny side to be right against the adhesive that you just laid down. Okay. And so I'm just going to take my paper snips and cut this off here. Okay. I'll also cut this off right here where the glue is. And we're going to take this with our wishes and we're going to take this to the die cutting machine. And here we are. Let's take our take your pick tool to poke this out. And now you've made a little sticker out of this die cut. Okay. Let's poke that out. Now there's a little eye there also. Okay. And we're going to just peel that off last. But now we've got this little sticker here. And let's put this right underneath. Right here. Try to get it centered if you can. Get well wishes. And that little dot on the eye is right here. If you can get it out. <laughs> yep, here it is. And I'm going to peel that little backer paper off of it. And we're going to stick it right where it needs to be, right here above. So we got Get Well Wishes. Okay, now let's go ahead and adhere this to our card base. I'm going to reinforce that fold with my bone folder. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, and let's put some... Oh, I have a little bit of a... Ah, I have ink all over my hands. That's why. But we're going to keep going. <laughs> okay. And we're going to put some adhesive. Isn't that pretty paper on the back side? We're going to put some adhesive on the layers. And let's do this. Okay. And we're going to glue that down. And there will be like a little sixteenth of an inch edge all the way around your card. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and adhere our little heart. I'll put a little adhesive here. I'm not going to be popping up the heart because I'm going to pop up the mask. Okay, and we're placing that close to the top. Just like that. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and put the mask on. And just make sure you match up the V part here to the V of that heart or that, you know, that point of the heart. And that is how you're going to determine where you're going to put your googly eyes. So let's get our googly eyes. I'm not going to pop them up. I'm just going to go ahead and, because they're already dimensional, I'm just going to put a little bit of um, liquid glue, mono, Tombow mono liquid glue, multi-purpose liquid glue. Okay, and let's stick these eyeballs on right here. One's right there, and one is right here. Try to get them as even as you can, or you can make them crooked if you want. <laughs> but there you go. Okay, now I want to uh, put this a little bling on, on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my Wink of Stella, uh, marker and I am going to it's it's actually a brush pen and I am just going to brush the wishes with wink of stella okay just to give this a little bit of bling and you could like maybe put a little bit of bling on the corners here just to liven it up a little bit that's what I'm going to do just a little bit on the corners here some little dots. Now you can put sequins on here if you want. You know, it's all up to you. However you want to decorate that. But this is my card. Isn't it? Isn't this cute? I just absolutely love it with your sentiment in the middle. 
somebody would really really love getting a get well card now what now this is the envelope and i did say i was going to decorate the envelope so let's bring back our oops our stamparatus still knocking those lamps and i'm just going to put that little corner decoration um right here on this corner here so let's get out our old olive ink again okay and we're going to just stamp one corner and that's it that's all we're going to do with our envelope so let's move this out of the way and here is our card with the envelope isn't that pretty i hope that you like this project it's really cute and given the time of of uh, in our this little pandemic pandemic we do have a lot of people who are ill unfortunately so getting a nice get well card like this um will really cheer them up don't you think so i hope everyone is staying safe everyone is staying well and happy so get out your your uh, designer series paper especially the stuff that's going to retire soon and start making projects with our paper have fun so if you need any of the tools and supplies that i used in this video please go to my website at www.geoamazingpapercrafts.stampinup.net i'll be happy to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one so once again i am jeanette with geoamazing papercrafts and you make it a great day bye bye